afternoon world, Tippy Trevi here. It's like uh, 38 degrees up here today. She's a beauty. Summer's finally arrived. Roll the intro. Hi, Tippy Trevi here, and welcome to my channel. Um, hope you get something out of it. Run our world, uh, run our world, Tippy Trevi here. So, first print in the mail for uh, 2023. Just showed up in the mail. Now I have no idea who it's from, and I have no idea what it is. But, with a sticker on the back like that, I'm guessing, I think someone may have sent me some GoPro batteries, so. Anyway, well, we're about to open the box up and find out. I have no idea who, who this is from, it's just got return sender um, via Amazon, so. Someone sent me something, let's see what I got. And some of you do actually know how much trouble I've been having with these bloody GoPro batteries of late. Ah! Oh my god! What the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh my god! There better be some, some instructions here. Oh my god, I can't believe, oh my god, I can't believe um, what I've just been given. Um, well, they're obviously not GoPro batteries, there's something better. Um, I didn't tell them who you were. <sighs> Yet again, I've been completely blown away. Um, wow, fucking wow. Um, so according to, according to this box here, and these other couple of little bits, Um, apparently it's a cordless microphone. Holy shit. Um, blown away, JC. You've blown me away, mate. Um, I'm not sure how this even works. I guess that's why they give you instructions. Um, I'm absolutely humbled and absolutely stoked. Thank you very much. It'll be interesting to see exactly what that does. So, uh, this is this has obviously come from America. Yeah. Yes, uh, they're from definitely from America. JC, thank you from the States. Um, uh, you completely blown me away. I've got to go and sit down and have a good read of this, and uh, work out whether I use one of these on the uh, motorbike. Because as you know, I run uh, two cameras on the bike. Um, whether I make one of them um, remote, wireless, or not, I don't know. Um, I'm just blown away. So uh, uh, for everyone else, um, if you want to send me stickers, send me letters, just anything at all, um, Hippie Trev at 21 Tarn Street, bigger than 4621 Queensland. Pretty straightforward. Oh, um, you YouTube people blow me away. Um, that's very humbling, and I can't wait to get inside and have a good look at that. So uh, right here. Uh, right here. So uh, secondly, uh, Robert Tolly. I uh, was asking more about the speedo on my bike. Yeah, I'm after another speedo on the bike. Um, that one is completely inaccurate. I'll take you in a minute and show you. This is the original speedo that came with the bike. It's uh, It does say in miles an hour, but when I got it, it had a kilometre sticker on it, kilometre per hour sticker on it. And it had a 100k sticker turned, so the 100k was white back here. So I basically ended up pulling it off and um, exposing the original miles underneath. Uh, but that's also when I had the big long chrome dash on. When I got the shorter dash that I've got now, this speedo did not fit in there. So I went and bought a second hand one from Crossy. It had that face on it. It was my old speedo that I'd replaced with one from Darren Cross and Gimpy had this face on it. So I bought this second hand speedo off him, 50 bucks, which I still owe him the 50 bucks for. And, uh, the speedo was okay, but the trip meter was total shit, and the little plastic gear drive that drove the trip meter in there, well, you can still see it, that little white gear in there. Well, what's left of that little white gear in there that supposedly drove the trip meter was completely fucked. So uh, that speedo was useless, and I've got to, I have to have a trip meter on the bike, on the speedo, as it's a fuel gauge. So. Darren Cross and Gimpy, I still owe you 50 bucks on that one, and there's more rain coming, and if it wasn't, I'd be on the bike heading down to Gimpy 
two, one, check out another speedo, check out another seat, and buy a set of rear shockies. So, anyway, so I went and bought this speedo. I think I paid uh, 200 bucks for this one, miles per hour. Looks good, except I didn't pay any attention to the writings underneath, which is, uh, now they did explain it in the ad, it's a two to one, two to one ratio. Um, perfectly working, perfectly working trip meter. I use uh, those wall plugs for and I have a perfectly working trip meter and uh, this is for a 21 inch front wheel and not for a 16 so at 60 mile an hour this thing basically said I was doing nearly 100 so I've got this mint speedo mint condition um, not a Japanese knockoff an original Harley speedo sitting here that is no good to me because I've got a 16 inch front wheel instead of a 21 inch front wheel on the bike so I was unable to use this so I had to go back to the uh, the bits and pieces that I've made out of like three different speedos. So this is a speedo I currently have on the bike. Trip meter does work. See how the needle's here? Well the needle should be pointing there, but I've, what I did, I took pulled the hole apart, pulled the glass out of it, ran the speedo up to, put my phone up here, got it up to 100 kilometers an hour or 60 miles an hour, and while I was riding, I actually pushed the needle to that part of the speedo reading and um, then when I got home, put all the glass on, put it back in, and uh, that's where it sits. But it, it does show me where exactly 60 mile an hour is, and at that trip meter, most importantly, as well as the speedo, the trip meter is 100% accurate, which is uh, more important than anything else. So, so anyway. Uh, so Rod Tolly over in uh, America, that's what I need about my bike. 16 inch front wheel, and I'm chasing an old fashioned uh, miles an hour speedo to suit probably an early shovel to Harley, that's probably uh, to suit like an early shovel dash. That is an early shovel dash. It's got the smaller diameter speedo mount in there, which is a four and four and a quarter. I think the next size up is four and three quarters. Well, this is I think this is four and a quarter dash. I don't. I really can't work in um, uh, inches any, anymore. So I think this is a four and a quarter dash and the next size up is four and three eight or something, but it's the, the, the dash of radio. And thirdly, another one I want to get back to. Now, I don't know how this is going to work and hope we don't wind up with a crackly microphone. But this is normally what happens when I, uh, I do this. All right, let's see if this works. So as some of you saw the other day too, um, we thought my battery was going groggy. So I've had it on charge for the last uh, couple of days. It's gone green. Put the multimeter on it back up to my 13 volts um, bike does actually start no worries fire straight up not a problem there at all so hasn't been started for three four days so that's why it's a bit rough so bike fires straight back up back up to how it should be pretty sure i saved the battery and what was going on is if i've got enough room to get in here microphone oh yeah that's that microphone okay. okay so what I need to show you is down in here is is your stator plug this is your stator plug to the regulator and what was happening is um, when it was on and plugged in When it's on and plugged in, it doesn't sit right. Oh, that's sitting now better than it did. So what was happening is, um, and what's still happening, is if I move this plug around, like if, if I leave the plug there, it's uh, showing 11 volts while running. And if I move the plug around, it goes up to 13.8 and 13.6 volts while running. So basically, uh, this starter plug has always been a bit dodgy. And it's also, you can't see, but it's also, it is also full of dirt and grit in there. So, and that plug sticks out way too far than it should. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm just gonna try and get a pair of uh, these hospital pliers I've got. I need some of the inside contacts, try and pull them forward and try and push that plug back down into the motor where it's supposed to be, instead of that far up. 
and see if I can get a much better connection on there because that is just loose and well look at that, it just falls out it's never been good and it's probably the reason I cooked the first battery coming back from Victoria so the plug sort of feels like it's right but it's not and it's wobbling around so basically what I need to do is I need to get in clean all this out try and pull the pins from the inside of here further up the line and try and push this rubber stopper further back down in the motor so so that'll be a video of its own content at another time but um for today yeah just a quick unboxing and uh holy shit mate um i'm gonna have to go in and have a bit of a play with this and see if i can get all this working but yeah wireless microphone system uh absolutely amazing so right our world's uh my first prezies for 2023 in the mail thank you very much so like i said if anyone wants to send me anything uh anything at all letters stickers whatever you like uh 21 Tarlin street bigger than 4621 queensland we're going to leave it there people so right stay safe keep your knees in the breeze and i'll catch you later bye